Kaisho, do you want to try urchin flavor, black squid ink, or natto flavored ice cream? Natto flavored ice cream. Okay, natto for you. We're headed out from Sapporo to a little day trip to Otaru. It's out on the coast and we're planning to get some seafood. We're in search of urchin and even urchin flavored ice cream and black squid ink ice cream. And I've even seen such a thing as a seven layer soft cream cone. So we're gonna go enjoy some seafood on the coast and enjoy some very interesting flavored ice creams. You'll wanna see this one. We're going to Otaru. And birds are flying to Otaru. Birds are flying to Otaru? Oh yeah, they want a big bird. I don't think I got it though. Kids having a snack here at Minami Otaru Station. Before we go on a walk in search of for some yummy stuff. These kids are troopers. You guys are troopers. What's troopers? Well, you can handle all the traveling pretty well without complaining. That's what I mean. We just got a free chocolate sample that was really good. And then we passed the place with free sake sampling as well. But George says we better skip that one. I thought it might make for an interesting vlog. <laughs> Can you imagine seeing Mama drunk, Kaisho? Do you even know what that is? No. <laughs> I don't either. I don't think I've ever seen her drunk. Have you ever been drunk in your life? And if I was drinking, you were drinking Patron with me, so that's why you don't remember. <laughs> that's why I don't remember. <laughs> Crap. When you see a storefront with a big crab like that, that usually means their crab is good. That's what I've heard anyways. There's a Snoopy Chaya shop across the way. Snoopy's from my home of Sonoma County. And they even have like a little curry dish with a Snoopy shaped rice. Strawberry chocolate. That's good. That's really good. Mm. This is my kind of store. Shop of everything. There was something I saw from the outside that looked like a melon chocolate. So it looked super interesting. You got them. Mmm, that's good. That one's super good, huh? You want to get one of these too? Yeah, it's really nice too. It was good. And it's, it's 50, it's only 50 grams. And this melon one was just like one of the best chocolates I've tasted. The melon here is so delicious. Probably remember from our other episode of eating ice cream and melon. So yeah, let's get some of those. Okay, okay, I got my souvenirs. <laughs> After having a few chocolate samples, we're all ready to get some lunch. This place is supposed to be kid friendly, that's why we chose it. I know that Heidi and Kaisha would have be happy eating desserts all day long, but we decided we were going to get some protein and uh, some really good paleo type of food. Right, Kaisha? Right. Let's hope we like it. It's supposed to be fresh right out of the sea here. Okay. It has rice, so maybe it's not exactly paleo, but so traditional. Yes, yeah, more traditional. traditional. Yeah. Nutrient dense seafood. Nutrient dense seafood is correct. And some of it's going to be raw. Sounds fine. Yes. I think most of it's going to be raw. Yeah. Maybe just kind of skewers. Most of it's going to be raw. Sounds good. Yeah, you got your chair. Yeah. And we are here to get their specialty food, which is what? That's right. Also known as uni. And you don't know it's uni. Okay. And what else are we here for? What else are they known for? 
Don't you say it? Funny. Funny flavor. Yeah, because this is one of the first places in Hokkaido that had ice cream. If not the first, yes. Yeah. So the ice cream here is very high quality, as well, and that's what we're after. We're always looking for the best quality stuff. Yeah. So this is what George ordered: the sea urchin, crab, and salmon roll. And I got this recommended seafood one with a whole bunch of things on it. Shrimp, fish, roe, crab, sea urchin, all different ones. Haru just loves the salmon roe. Salmon roe is one of her favorite foods. Oishini. Yep, she's eating these. Okay, it's time to try the sea urchin, which is this one. It looks soft and fluffy and it kind of has the texture like it looks like a tongue. Hmm. It squishes, it's really soft and squishes and then it kind of has a strong ending aftertaste to it. Can't quite place the flavor, maybe similar to mustard. That kind of like custardy, runny egg texture. It's interesting. And meanwhile, Haru is just scarfing down her fish eggs here. This is, she's on her second bowl here. So I was ready to try a little bite first to the sea urchin. No, this is the little bite. <laughs> Come on, eat this whole thing. That is the little bite. What did it taste like? Liquidy stuff. Liquidy stuff, yeah. Yep. Did you like it? A little strong? The sea urchin is quite good. I love it with a little bit of wasabi and a little bit of rice. Mm. Everything looks like matcha to you, humble boom. Your favorite stuff? No doubt, huh? Pressure skewers have arrived. It's got some squid, some oysters. Is that oysters? I'm not even sure. It looks like maybe a scallop. And Eddie shrimp. And which is your favorite? You like the shrimp the best? I just tried one of your scallops and they're really good. That's one of my favorites. Yours are cooked and mine are raw. Yeah. And this is a scallop shell like they use to make the white pigment for, tra for traditional paint or that they use in the tofu nail polish. So we finished lunch and now we're on the hunt for ice cream. But I don't know if I have room in my stomach for any ice cream. That was a lot of seafood that we just ate. Looks like we found it. Kita no ice cream yasan. Hokkaido Otaru. Let's go, in. Let's go see the list of flavors. We have sea urchin here. Okay, beer, wine, Japanese sake, sea urchin, squid, fresh caramel, fresh caramel, strawberry, lemon puff. Oh, they have melon. But it's green tea, chocolate vanilla, green tea, black tea, pumpkin, purple potato, rose, horseradish, bean curd, and potato butter. Okay, we got a whole list right here. So we should maybe get a sea urchin, a squid, maybe fermented beans just for the kit. And there we have it. All right, so we have sea urchin on the top, uni. We have natto down here on the bottom, and here we have squid ink. What do you think, Kaja? Which one are you gonna try? You go for it, buddy. Okay, try the squid ink. So we get to try two. Maybe we'll start with this sea urchin. 
just tastes like ice cream. Nice <laughs> sweet ice cream. Okay. Any flavor at all, Kaisho? Flavor, but it doesn't taste good. You don't like it? You don't like the squid ink? Okay, try the other one. Okay, I'm gonna try the natto. natto. Okay, okay, Heidi's trying the natto. Fermented soybeans. Ah, uh, at first you just taste ice cream, so it kind of tastes like sweet vanilla ice cream, and as an aftertaste, you get hip natto. natto. Which one? You, you tried natto as well, Casho? Yeah. Oh, we like natto. So. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Nice. What about the sea urchin, Kasha? Did you try the sea urchin? No. Okay, try the sea urchin. So it's it's a very weak sea yeah. urchin, if anything, huh? The natto one is kind of a trippy. Yeah. Where you're like yeah. eating ice cream and then all of a sudden your mouth tastes like natto, which I do like, but it's yeah. Not what you expected after taste. Yeah, but I expected like the natto kind of natto, not like just beans. <laughs> yeah. If you're not familiar with natto, it is fermented soybeans. It can be kind of stinky and it's really sticky, but it's super good for you, loaded with vitamin K2. Um, used to hate it, but now we love it, so we're getting our share while we're here in Japan. This squiddy one is really good. Is it? It's really yummy. It kind of reminds me of black sesame seeds. Maybe Haru wants to try. Okay. She looks a little tired. She was asleep, but yeah. we're going to the ice cream shop. Haru, do you want to try? Black no. Ice cream? No, she said, why'd you wake me up for? Sorry, Haru. Which one's your favorite, Kaisho, out of the three? Sea urchin? Uni. Kaisho says uni wins. My favorite is the black squiddy one. So far, I like everything black squiddy that I've tried. Yeah. Like risotto, rice. Yeah, that was so good. Was Never that? forget that. Let's that mix this black. part together. Yeah, I forgot. But it was good. I already forgot, too. Something on this trip. This is what happens when you travel so much, you forget. Here, Hubs, we're sharing for once. Why don't you help yourself to some look, look. natto ice cream? Look at that stickiness. It is kind of like natto. Just like how natto is kind of sticky. Natto! Usually we eat all the sweets and don't leave any for George this time. He can have as much as he wants. That totally tastes exactly like natto. <laughs> Kaisho even said he's done. He doesn't usually say that to ice cream. Really, Kaisho? I think he knows there's the a seven is... layer of ice cream in our future. Sea urchin, nothing special. It turned out to be a nice warm day here in Otaru. It was only supposed to be in the 60s, but uh, we got some sun and it's actually really hot. So we're gonna go play in a park for a little while. And then once we work up an appetite, we'll go find some more goodies. Haru got a taste of big slides and now she doesn't care how big it is, she wants to go down it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Static shock, look at your hair. Look at her hair. Look at Chubby Chubster's hair. Look at that crazy hair. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Haru, look at your hair. Ayaku, boom chan. Look at that! Look at that! Okay, Craziness! All like sweaty. Yeah, if it wasn't sweaty, it would really it'd be really be Einstein kapooped. Look at Mama, she's not being a scaredy cat. Boom boom, look at that! I should have told me I had to climb up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we brought the kids to the playground so they can get their energy out. But my real motivation is that I just want to sit under a shade tree and eat the chocolate. <laughs> Because these melon chocolates, they're so good. We can get 100 of those. 100, they packed it with a little bit of an ice pack. But still, it is just a hot day today, so I'm afraid they might melt. That's my excuse. There you go. Okay, a melon chocolate for Kaisho. Oishi, you don't have to eat it all at once. Haru heard we had some melon chocolate. Okay, come join us, you guys. We don't want you having that much sweet. Just a little bite. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. 
Delicious, huh? Delicious. It even smells so good. You're supposed to poke it with this. That's too hard for her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a lot, Haru Haru. Okay, that's all for you. Now we're going to get some seven layer ice cream. Seven layers. We got lavender, milk, chocolate, melon, powdered green tea, strawberry, grape, and it says yogurt at the top. I'm not sure if that means there's no more grape. Oh, seven layer ice cream is so good. <laughs> I've never had a seven layer ice cream before. In fact, the largest ice cream I've ever had was three layers. Oh, here she comes. In a cup. We gotta get a picture before it melts. Hey, sweetie pie. <laughs> Otto, what are you doing? Ooh, seven layers. And you were right, Kaisho, there is matcha flavored in there. Melon. Okay, I guess Kaisho's the first to taste it. How is it? Can you taste the yogurt? Yeah, yogurt's on top. Pretty good. Pretty good. Is that yogurt on the top? So I was telling Pacho earlier when you have the double scoop ice cream cone, the key is eat it fast before it melts and falls apart. I've never had a separate layer ice cream before. Me either. So we gotta eat it top down. And you know, when you scoop it, push downward, okay? Mm. It's pretty good. Oh my goodness, you took the milk bag, honey? It's pretty good, but it's not as good as that raw milk Let's soft serve. Let's try to do one layer at a time. It's the most colorful stuff. Yeah. Ice cream I've ever had. This Ichigo is good. The Ichigo is good? It tastes like roast strawberry to me. How's the chocolate? I don't know. I'm trying to do one layer at a time, but I should just dig in the cave. I'm looking forward to tasting the uh, lavender and the melon. We got lavender melon. and melon ice cream when we were in Furano. Yeah. Will it compare at all to Furano? This is not as stellar quality, but it's pretty. We've been eating a lot of ice cream on this trip. Maybe too much ice cream. But they have so many good flavors here in Otaru. I even saw one that had honeycomb on it. I really wanted that one too. That's true. There's just like a ridiculous amount of soft cream out there. Again, they call it soft cream here. It has a little bit different taste. At first, I was like, yeah, this is kind of weird. But after I get used to it, I'm like, to me, it tastes way better than, uh, what do we call it, soft serve back home? Yeah, good stuff. This milk flavored layer is really good. It tastes totally different than the yogurt one that was at the top. Now we're on to the purple lavender ice cream layer. George says it's not as good as the one we got in Burano at the lavender field. Oh my, not melody. It's good? Let me try a bite. They call this type of melon red melon. It's got the orange inside. It's similar to cantaloupe we have at home. And it's just so good. Too good. We made it to the matcha layer. How was it, Kaisho? Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's it for a seven layer ice cream. Thanks for watching from Otaru Japan. Give us some thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Yay! Hey, where'd Boom Boom go? <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> were you clapping? Clapping, clapping. Let's go to Sapporo.